Well, I'm Doug. Out of Rose Board Game Shampoo. And welcome back to the Pokemon Hyzo Blue Let's Play. Time to continue with Mount M O N and maybe finish this time. As I want to finish here. So, here's the team. I put Sai in the lead, trying to level him up a little. Pimp Daddy. Uh, it's a little too hard to grind someone up right now. Uh, Nita's in really good level up shape. Just HP wise, she's a little fragile. I was like, Sai and Pimp Daddy. No, Sai's in alright shape. Just gotta be on point about my choices. Like, this is a bad matchup, Sai is not participating in this fight. I mean, the biggest risk is gonna be Voltorb. Son of a... You know how you start talking about a thing that is... You don't want to fight, then you immediately encounter that thing? Yeah. Okay, so I, I think he can take this. Bubble Beam. If I want it to be absolutely safe, it would be a combination of Hypnosis and Bubble Beam. But... I want to get out in front first. And just beat the crap out of him. Or, in Voltorb's case, and Grimer's case, run. Okay, that's just there to waste time and increase my encounter chance. See, I'm terribly surprised about it. This is Kaizo. It's meant to be evil and mean and so much else. <sighs> well, okay. It's supposed to be fair evil. It's supposed to challenge my abilities to actually take on and beat this game. It's meant for me to be playing at my best level consistently while playing it. Which means it's honestly really draining to take on. Hmm. Yeah. There's gonna be twist turns, dead ends, false leads. Hmm. And at least for now, a lot of running. You know what? Let's at least try this one. There's a chance of explosion. Ooh, and Toxic. It's gonna have its chance of Toxic. I get hit by Toxic. And size going down in time. I am not dealing with that bundle of randomness that is Clefairy. I do not want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with the poisonous, potentially explosive mess that is grammar. There's just a lot of nope and nope and nope. Okay, on to the next stretch. Just gonna be forward progress. I might just want to save, because my team's actually in pretty decent shape. And... Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like using the saves it work out for me. I'm not gonna save state. Mostly because I don't quite remember the keyboard shortcuts, and getting it wrong would be really, really bad because it affects my save file. So I'm not messing with it. If I use the wrong one, and I revert to a previous save state, I've lost a lot of progress. Okay. Hyper Beam! 
Like, I'm not even mad. That just caught me straight up off guard. Holy crap. Charge. I want a higher tier of my Pokemon in... Oh, good. I'm faster. Now, when Hyper Beam hits and takes something out, there's no recharge. If it misses or doesn't get the kill, there's a recharge. In the original game. I don't know if that's been affected here. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. Alright. Who's next? Pimp Daddy. You have to egg. Cool. Alright, gotta switch you for Matt. I don't wanna try and take that on, plain and simple. Hmm. Yeah, I just gotta. Much as possible, I'm running from fights. There's a lot of random fights are just gonna be a drain on my resources. I need to be much more precise in what I'm taking on right now. Because otherwise, I'm just expending resources I otherwise might not want to expend. I've got couple trainer battles left. And I'm really deep in here. And there are times I just gotta explore a little. Because this game is meant to reward exploration. I'm wishing I had repels. This is why I want to reach the next town. So I can restock on supplies. Because a Pokemon... Ah. Ah. A Poke Center is not a Poke Mart. And a Poke Mart would be the best way for me to get the supplies I need. Oh man, I gotta put my hair down. Ugh. <laughs> Had my ponytail a little too tight. Not great when it's doing that. Means it's hurt and adds toward a headache. And there's an item I missed. At least I think I did. Yep. So I'm on the right path to make progress forward. But this is the way I can go. Or an item. Which I want. Because there's a scarcity of a lot of things here. I've got more absorbs and I know I'm gonna one-shot it. Ooh, it's actually a pretty good experience. M1. What is that TM? In Mega Punch. T nope. What are you? In Water Gun. I'll keep that in my pocket for now, because a lot of Pokemon learn Water Gun by level up. If I desperately need it, I can use it. It's not a bad way to, like, just, like, ease out of your pocket, get some more power points. You gotta do a really, really long haul. Okay. <sighs> Let's see if I can't get through Mount Moon this time. Nice and deep in. I can just make the right navigational choices. I'll be able to get through here. Ah, so close. Hmm. Getting closer and closer, and I know it. 
It's so strange to see water in here. Or Mount Moon was just dry. Huh. Actually, we'll come back here later, unless it's decorative. If it's decorative, I'm not gonna bother. Ah. Headbutt. I think I can one-shot it. Pretty much a one-shot. That flinch chance helped immensely. I'm not taking chances against, uh... Well, I don't have to worry about poison, but I do need to worry about the explosive part of it. And I get the feeling I'm pretty close to done here. Well, so there's still a fight or two in my way. Alright, come on, baby. Come on. Alright, he's absorbed for a quick shot. This is me very carefully picking my battles and winning the best way I know how. Ah. Man, this encounter rate is freaking murder. <laughs> Ah, I'd speed things up if it wouldn't mess with my sink. But, you know, when you're playing and live reacting to a thing... Well, that's something else. Alright, come on. Yeah, I want to take you on sooner than later. Otherwise, it looks like I'm forced to loop around. This is where paying attention is gonna save my butt. Of course, taking on trainers, I don't know... what they're gonna have. Now, in the original game, Team Rocket, I'm expecting, like, the most common Pokémon... And they throw out stuff like this. Uh, ghost poison. Uh, headbutt or No. <laughs> I want... Oh, size down. And Daddy's... Sandy's actually a really good choice here. Because like I said, ghost poison. Normal types are absolutely useless. But the poison part means I can wreck it with a ground-type move. Ooh, smart. Very smart. It's going to affect up to, like, five turns, I think? Ooh, Nightshade, which is going to do 20 damage. I can take five of those. I certainly hope I got things right on my map. Yeah, already confused. Gonna roll the dice twice. Down you go. Sandy takes the victory. Use a Kadabra. Yes, I will change Pokemon. Go to Char. I need to use something not just about to faint. Fight. Just go for... I know is its weaker stat. Kadabra are fast, absurdly powerful, but they're Physically frail. Of 
Good, I can handle being blacklisted by Team Rocket. There are worse things to deal with. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, a whole ton of running right now. Woo! I just saved myself. Oh! Yeah, I did just save myself a fair amount of backtracking. Just to be on the safe side. Ah, uh, how's about to frickin' do the thing? And save. Ah, <sighs> still gonna save. I can see the fossils! The fossils are the end of the road! Really, you found them, they're both yours, huh? I have opinions about that. Ooh, is it gonna be what I think it is? Nope. Alright, I have an advantage with my grass type. Just kind of undercut by a few things it can do. Oh wow. Just exploding right out the gate doing 21 damage. About a quarter of my HP. Nope. They're throwing out a shelter is. I should be leery of it, because anything I suspect has a super effective move, I'm gonna be expecting it to use its super effective move. You know what? Two absorbs. Hey! Victory! Alright, that's two of this three. One more! One more, one more, one more! And my starter is once again my most powerful. Super Nerd is about to use Execute. Yes, I want to change versus execute. I, in fact, want char. Execute is a grass sidekick, which is kind of the opposite side of the coin as my grass poison that is mapped. Down you go. Come on. Huh. Char and Matt are tied. Trying to learn Slash. Yes, I will make room for Slash. Headbutt and Bite. Uh, let's get rid of Headbutt. It's headbutt and Bite both have flinch chance. Slash has increased critical chance. Cool. I love that you're gonna share. Just take one, no being greedy. And with the Helix Fossil? Nah, I want the Dome Fossil. I want the Dome Fossil so I can get Kabuto and Kabutops. Opposed to Omnite and Omnistar. Uh, yes. Once I get Surf, I'll be able to actually head there and revive the Fossil. Okay. Wow. I'm almost there. I think. I get the feeling I'm near the end. Okay, I'm hoping desperately I'm near the end. That is my fervent hope. Just cause this has been quite the haul. I've been playing a good while. Where this goes. I'm out! I'm out. I'm on a new route. Hmm. I think I'm seeing cutoffs. Yeah, where am I? Still route 4. Alright, this is all the same route. I don't know how sectioned this stuff is. Hmm, it is actually kind of nice to be able to poke around and explore a smidge. Ooh, taunting me with an item. That would 
requires hot. Hmm. Now what? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's see what you got, lass. Pepis. Grass bug versus my grass poison. Headbutt him. Hmm. Stronger than I was expecting him to be, I'll say that. Ponyta. Yes, I will switch. Uh, and Matt Nita. Sandy is the best bet. Sandy's almost down. So, Char. Sandy has the elemental type advantage. Oh, I've missed that sprite. Slash. Let's go attack versus defense, try and take him down. Use Parasect. You know what? I'll stay on Char. Parasect, the evolution of Paris. And the mushroom has overtaken the bug. Kind of scary. There we go. Being familiar with Gen 1, yes, you have them all. Ooh, rare candy. Very useful. Wow. Oh, hey, a Pikachu! Still haven't caught one of these. Wow, matted racket's face and hard. You know what? Him Daddy is actually the best chance against the Pikachu! Should actually be able to take a hit. As I was saying, should. Ah, <sighs> Shine. Plain and simple. Die. I want a Pikachu. They're cool. But, you know what? I'm good. We're out of Mount Moon. I've begun exploring the second part of Route 4. Yeah, there's not too much more to do, and it'd be nice to have a shorter episode. Hmm. Would be nice to reach Celadon. Hmm. Hey, I actually can wander a lot of this area without getting into a fight. We made some considerations for ya. Oh, I just overlooked the turn I needed to make. Right, um... Cerulean! I've made it to Cerulean City, which has a vastly changed layout. What's going on here? The only person allowed in. Sweet! I made it a lot easier to access. I don't have to do anything bonkers to get there. Bright red bicycle. Okay. Okay, any mountain bike. Nope. No, I need a voucher for that. And... Ah. Art. What's, what's this going on here? Snowball. <laughs> ah, yes, it does depend on your abilities as a trainer. As you level... Well, as your Pokémon level up, there's just more that they can do. Another ten Pokéballs, because I am here. 
Whoa. Repels. Let's get 20 this time, because I got a lot of money. Antidote burn E13. I'm 11. Whoa. I'll do research, find out what 11 is. <sighs> but honestly, I just want to find my way here to the Poké Center. Where I am going to call it. Let's patch up the crew and done is done is done. So, I have been dug. Is that a rose for game shampoo? And thank you for watching in our Pokemon Blue Kaizo LP. Now it's time to finish. So please like, comment, and sub to this channel. And hey, toss a coin for your gamer, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!